On the Health Beat tonight, the story of a young woman who was pregnant and diagnosed with breast cancer. Our Health Beat reporter, Anne-Marie Ternan, joins us now with Amanda Sasher story. No doubt, Anne-Marie, she will inspire a lot of people, a lot of encouragement coming from this story. Well, and certainly that's what she hopes yeah. to do by sharing her story. You know, she really is an amazing young mother. She is a woman who got very big news twice earlier this year in just a matter of weeks. First, the word that she was pregnant. Then came confirmation that she had cancer. And then it was the advice that came next that she absolutely refused to follow. Oh, yeah. There you go. She's Where precious. Pretty girl. Hope Jolene is now just weeks old. Every day that I feed her, I look at her and just tear up and think, you know, you're a little miracle. And she looks like you. She is Amanda and Maury Sasha of Shelbyville's first child. Amanda was nearly two months pregnant when she got answers about a lump in her breast. I got a call from my family doctor saying that it was breast cancer. And he said, well, the best, the standard of care would be to terminate the pregnancy and then do the lumpectomy and radiation and all that. I felt like the front lobe of my head was going to explode. I was trying to take it all in. It got me going, got me started. From then on out, as a fight for her more than a fight for me. These are the original mammograms and the additional views that Amanda presented uh, to us. For another opinion, Amanda went to see Dr. Chase Lodick at Community Health Network. Very rarely do we get to give good news to young women with breast cancer. In Amanda's case, um, we had her slides reviewed. Big deep breath in. Then we got the maternal and fetal specialist involved. My job is to make sure that we're looking at both of them. There's always options. What's the best option for you and your baby? That's what we want to lay out. And we want to help you come to the best option for you and your baby. You're not getting any sore throats, you've not been sick. Baby been sick? Amanda's the most important. She's the driver of the bus, but uh, all the rest of us on the bus have got to talk. And that's what we did in her case. And I think that's, you know, I had great faith in uh, Dr. Dungey Portress and the maternal fetal team. And when they gave me the green light, we were, we were ready to go. She'll get fussy if we don't feed her. Amanda opted for surgery, a double mastectomy, radiation and chemotherapy deemed not necessary. And despite the first trimester drama, <laughs> Hope arrived on time. In fact, her delivery deemed routine. If I would have just went with that doctor like somebody else might have, you know, she wouldn't be here. And look at her, she's perfectly healthy. <laughs> There's times when I stare at her and I can't believe that this just happened. She's so cute. She's so sweet and she slept through her entire interview. So some of the takeaways here, breast cancer does occur during pregnancy. The outcomes can vary. Radiation therapy not advised during pregnancy. Chemo is best safe for the later trimesters. But keep in mind, the diagnostic screening, the mammogram, the CT scan, even surgery during pregnancy can work with good outcomes. Make sure that you get a second opinion. A Thank beautiful you. outcome there. Emery, thanks so much.